You've seen our weather forecast maps where the big blue H moves in and covers Colorado. You might not know exactly what that means, but you probably do know that the weather will be warm and dry when that H shows up. The H stands for high pressure, but a different way to better understand what's happening to the atmosphere is to think of the word heavy instead. Under high pressure, the air is pressing down on the surface of the earth like a weight. The air is also sinking, warming, and drying at the same time. So not only does high pressure raise the air temperature, but it also makes it difficult for storm clouds to rise up and cool things down. Take it a step further and the high pressure forms a dome that keeps the jet stream and the cooler Canadian air to the north and lets warm air intrude from the south. Yes, this happens just about every July, but the high-pressure system this week will be unusually powerful. It'll likely keep the Denver metro area in the 90 to 100 degree range for at least the next 10 to 14 days. More high pressure is forecast after this one, which will keep it unusually hot even for July. The benchmark for just how hot it can be is the summer of 2012. By July 6th that year, Denver had already hit 108 times and would finish the month with five more hundreds, and there were only four days where the high temperature was below 90 degrees. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.